Meteorologist Davison, the weather pros, live with the blogs.com. We're going to go over the weather over the next couple of days. We'll take a look at the country. You see, ice storm warning. Look at that. In the Midwest, Kansas, Missouri, parts of Illinois, and it's winter storm watches above that, which is for ice also. We've got a lot of ice issues coming up for a lot of areas. Freezing rain advisories in Indianapolis, down into like near Oklahoma City. It's just really going to be a mess in the middle of the country. So we're going to go to the NAM model here and show you what's going to happen. We're going to start here in the east and move it across. You can see we got cold front coming into the area. You get a little bit of precipitation coming into the Roanoke Valley. Not much going into the Delaware Valley. And we're moving right along here into Saturday morning. You see precipitation still being around. If you then becomes cold air damming here in the mountains with the potential of some freezing rain. We move it along, and you can see snow breaks out near D.C. and then goes north, and we look like we may see some snow across the greater Delaware Valley and some icing near D.C. and Baltimore. We continue to move along. It moves off to the coast. Things get a little bit warmer and drier as we go along. For anybody in the Midwest, we're going to go here and show you what's going to happen. And you get the icing effects coming into parts of Missouri. Look at it come in by the time we get into Friday evening. A little scattered at this point, but it's going to increase, go through parts of uh, the area of Illinois, Ohio, Missouri, and so forth. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the freezing rain accumulation map up. This is going to show something a little different. I want to show you how much it's expected. And it'll start filling in here shortly. It starts moving north. Trace, trace, trace. Uh, down in southern Missouri, we're up to 0.7. And this just continues to increase. Even a glaze of ice to a tenth of an inch of ice can do some pretty good damage across the area of Missouri, Illinois, and all the way through parts of Indianapolis and parts of the area of Ohio. You notice is this area in Iowa doesn't really get into it, and I think that's why the winter storm watches up in case this thing shifts a little bit. But we're talking about southern Missouri. We're talking about St. Louis, about a half inch of ice. Central Missouri, 0.75, which is three quarters of an inch of ice. That's damaging and 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 can do major damage in that area. We'll look at snow and see if we're getting a snow accumulation come across the area. And it slowly creeps across the northern part. I mean the far northern part of the state of Iowa. 0 0.2, 0 0.3 near Sioux City, Iowa. So not much in the snow bucket for this storm. I figure we can go across the snow map again and see what the GFS would say, and that would be a little higher. That actually showing by the time you get to next week. Oh, that's why we're doing it. Same amounts coming through, but then we get into next week and we get to Tuesday. We start getting snow across Minneapolis, just north of Minneapolis, with four inches of snow, and that continues its movement across the country. And then by next Saturday, we may have something interesting brewing north and south in this model. That would be the 29th, excuse me, that would be the 29th of the month. Well, so we're going to look at the east coast and go look ahead there. This is a far, when we get further in here, it's a far out model, and I don't take too much stock into it this time. Just could look at what we may be seeing over the next couple, the next week and a half, pretty much, two weeks. So with the precipitation coming through this Saturday, up to a half inch to an inch, nothing major from across the uh, Delaware Valley. And we just keep continuing this on as we head towards the end of the month, because this is where we're creeping into 24th, 25th. Oh, here comes some snow. Coming from the south with a storm, and look what it would do here. I mean, that's like I was saying, this is a ways off, and I don't put a whole lot of stock in here. Well, we're talking about, what, 14 inches of snow in western near Memphis, uh, two and a half, three inches in Roanoke, five to six inches 
up here in the Delaware Valley, but that would be the 29th, and that's still ways off. And like I said, towards the end of the month, the pattern would be more conducive to this, but I just don't uh, see this happening currently at this time uh, to to say this is a forecast. So this is just an outlook of what may occur in the future here. So biggest thing to worry about is potential freezing rain and maybe a half inch of snow up in the Delaware Valley. Other than that, we'll talk to you later. Meteorologist Team Davidson, thanks for watching.